Okay. I uh, just want to say thank you guys for uh, being here today. Uh, what we're going to do is a few things. Uh, so first and foremost, I uh, had a really great meeting with uh, 3Mark uh, t this, this past week uh, about a lot of great insight that I'll share with you today. Um, but uh, along with that, I wanted to give you a couple quick updates in case, um, you know, there was some things that maybe you haven't seen uh, as of late. And, and I'll kind of share it over a visual because I'm more of a visual person. Uh, per se. So I want to kind of just go over the highlights and value proposition of what we have here at Valor um, and, and some of the things that we're going to in the future. Uh, so what I would say is really when we think about this, it's um, more or less a three-tier approach, okay? So I want to make sure that people have opportunity from every single point of contact with their clients, uh, whether you talk about uh, investments, whether you talk about uh, insurance, whether you talk about disability, long-term care, health, everything. And so really what we do is when we look at this, it's kind of like a siloed approach. And where we have on the first silo is kind of the bread and butter. Um, and I'll just say life and retirement for this, because when you think about this, uh, this could involve life insurance, it can involve annuities, and I apologize for the bad handwriting. Um, it can involve disability because when you think about it, uh, if someone cannot make it to their retirement or they have a long-term strategy of investments um, and they can't work anymore, that's where traditional disability comes in. So think of doctors and dentists, uh, you know, people like that. A long-term care on the back end, there's different ways to fund long-term care, and we'll dive into that later about either riders, uh, you have the traditional route, or you even have a hybrid, which is like a single pay product to give you a big bucket of long-term care. Uh, we also have things like life settlement options here. So you talk to people who um, no longer need their insurance, they're still moderately healthy or maybe not healthy, uh, but they don't have living benefits on their product. Uh, we have a company that can offer opportunities to sell uh, policies and you actually get commission off of that too. Uh, once again, it's called a life settlement market. And, and so when you think about this, this is one silo. Uh, life insurance can be all different facets, premium finance. Uh, it can be uh, just your LERPs, life insurance retirement plans. It can be things like term insurance. And uh, really, when I get into the carrier stuff that I learned uh, at the Three Mark Convention, uh, you'll be amazed at some of the things that you didn't even realize you could do. Uh, so then we talk about health. So with our strategic partners, we have Affordable Care Act or ACA. We've got Medicare. We've got group health. Group life as well to allow the opportunity to protect the business owners. Now, as we all know, most business owners, 86% of them don't really have much of a strategic plan for retirement. Um, also, a lot of them have less than you know 25 employees. So they often refer to people to go to the marketplace. Well, if we could offer an opportunity uh, that could give them either marketplace or uh, the group side, you, you can hit them for multiple facets. And then lastly, uh, what we have is alternative lending. So this is uh, backed by uh, real estate. So I'll just put RE here, uh, giving people 17% returns. And obviously you get compensated for that as well because you're helping someone lend money. They're actually going to become a bank for real estate projects, so supported by real estate, to ultimately give your client a 17% return and you get compensated for being the broker of that aspect as well. So once again, high level overview of where we are and where we're going, there is more to this too as time goes on. This is just the beginning. We're building the infrastructure, uh, the, the strategic partners to get it done and continue to grow from here. 
Now, diving into the three mark part. Uh, so the head of three mark, his name is Bill Proper. Uh, he's been doing this for a very, very, very long time. Uh, he is the owner of three mark. And he talked about some different things to really open up the meeting. And I think this is important when you talk about scale. So when you think about scale, when you think about how big certain organizations are, industries, uh, let's talk numbers here. So um, if you think about what we do, uh, we partner with 3Mark. Uh, they hold majority of our contracts for the life insurance, annuities, disability, all that stuff. Well, they're roughly a 60 to $80 million shop. So every year they put in 60 to $80 million. Now they clear through what's called an IMO IDA or Insurance Designers of America. Now Insurance Designers of America is roughly a $250 million shop. What they do is they look at multiple general agencies like 3 Mark, like other companies across the country. And what they do is they basically pool all their assets together to go to IDA, who then go to the insurance carriers to get top level contracts. So in turn, the IDA people can share that top level contracts with their agencies so they can do what we're doing build out structure organization and help people you know make a living in this beautiful uh, industry so IDA is like I mentioned a 250 million dollar shop uh, for those who are in prior lives uh, with another organization there are other companies who are out in the market who are buying up agencies so like a three mark or like someone else they're not buying three mark but they're buying up other agencies to build up their contract levels to try and dominate the market for example say integrity is worth about 160 to 180 million so symmetry is another one that's buying up organizations now when you take organizations, they're coming from a different IMO, for example, sake, like an IDA. So strategically, what IDA has done is they've merged with another large uh, IMO in the insurance industry called Libra. And Libra was roughly a $400 million shop to form this super group uh, so to speak, where they're combining both to come together and the insurance carriers are loving this because you have two very well-established and very well-organized insurance companies or, or marketers coming together to offer a better value proposition. Now, we are part of that in this three-mark world. With Remark, IDA, and Libra, we, they're giving us extensive benefits. Uh, so for example's sake, one benefit is called the RGA program. Now, RGA is a reinsurer. So every insurance company has their own insurance. Like say, for example's sake, you were writing a case on someone that was a million dollars. I'll use AIG for an example, just for familiarity's sake. AIG would take that full responsibility for that million dollars. AIG has internal capacity up to $10 million. Now, if you wrote a $20 million case, they go to reinsurers like RGA or Swiss Re or Genry to take on that extra risk. Now, from a client's perspective, all they'll see is a policy from AIG, but AIG has hedged their risk with a reinsurer on the back end. Now, here's the cool part. What RGA has is they have roughly $8 million of capacity that if we have a case big enough, we can bypass the carrier's underwriting, go right to RGA, 
get them to approve the number. And then there's eight specific carriers that partner with RGA that you can go to their paper, write the application you want, submit it, and it's automatically approved. The minimum face amount for that is about $10,000. Uh, it's usually meant for larger cases as opposed to just some of the smaller ones. But the idea and benefit of it for you uh, gives you the opportunity to go to your clients with confidence and understand that you can write whichever carrier you want. We can do some of the approval stuff on the front end even versus on the back end. Once again, we utilize that for larger cases um, when you think of state planning. But it is a cool program, and we have that exclusive opportunity for your clients. Another thing that we have on the website, which I can show you on the 3 Mark website, is a way to find out who has higher throughput ratios on non-net. So some carriers often boast or talk about their uh, perks and benefits of the non-net. Uh, well, Libra being one of the largest uh, carriers or largest IMOs has integrated a software piece that includes age and risk class who has a higher throughput for non-net. And more to come on that. But here's where it gets really cool. So when you have money like this between these two big companies, one of the biggest benefits is when you think of perks, an opportunity that's at your fingertips. We're on the doorstep of offering proprietary products. only be allowed for people in the IDA Libra organizations, we will have proprietary products. And it should be very soon. We're very close on the doorstep of a GUL type product or an, a GIUL type product. Next up would be an Acume type product followed by an annuity. So all of these are things that are being worked on to give that extra value proposition for sticking with such a great organization that has scale and scope. And when we talk about the future, when we talk about what's coming down the line, not only proprietary products, but proprietary, uh, how do I put this? Proprietary, um, ways to go to market. I'll put it that way. Ways to go to market. Now, I've been researching with them a way where they are looking to create or build their own, they don't want to call it a multi-level marketing group, but more of an affinity marketing group. And what does that mean? Uh, that means that you as marketers, as other agency managers, can develop your own multi-level marketing group with six generations of overrides. They don't like that. We have what we have here, the independent space that has that hierarchy structure and build opportunity too. So I personally like this space that we're in. But if you need something like that for rookies or new people, that's coming down the pike probably not beginning of next year, but it will be next year. Uh, I've been on the committee to work with something like that. And it's going to be a different value proposition. We want people to make it to the top of the chain. It's going to be more helpful for people to make it to the top of the food chain. And you'll still have generational overrides. So... More to come on that. I'm not going to, you know, try and pretend like I'm going to go through the whole thing today because there's just a lot of inner workings and just a lot of really cool stuff coming down the pike with that. So once again, partnering on even just the life annuity side or life and retirement side, as you can see with our partners, there's just a lot of scale a lot of scope and a lot of stuff coming down that's gonna make your jobs even easier to partner and work with your clients. 
Now, if we bring up, for example, sake, the carrier information. So once again, uh, we went to 3Mark to really get a better understanding from our carriers. It's a nice way to reset and offer uh, the opportunity to see what our carriers have in store for us uh, coming down in the future, what's happening currently. And it's a nice way to refresh and retool what we've been doing. So I'll give you the first uh, piece of advice that I got from uh, John Hancock. And John Hancock, they they have the same spiel every time. So what they focused on more was sales ideas. They focused on ways that you can be successful and they gave it to me in a sheet. I am going to PDF it. And if anybody wants it, it's a great way for you to challenge yourself and ultimately get better each and every day. And it's called the 20 point a day card. And if you make 20 points in a day, you are bound to be successful. Why? Let's see, one point here. Make a phone call and asking the person you were trying to call for an appointment. So that's one point. Two, getting any appointment. So that would be two points. Another point, getting a qualified lead. A qualified lead means you have a full name, address, and phone number. Here's four points for this one. Do a fact finder. Two points if you get the second appointment for the sales call. So a total of four points. Do a face-to-face -face sales call with amount of premium and face amount known to prospect. Four points. Making any sale, 10 points. So if you're like me, work smarter, not harder, you're going to aim for the sale. Cold walking and giving the five ways and giving the five ways and asking for an appointment, one point, and giving a free quote to anyone face to face is one point. So, this is a guide to success how you can actively play a game with yourself if you need those step ups to get you motivated and moving each day. How are you going to get your 20 points? And another thing that we always talk about is centers of influence. When you talk about how to find your best centers of influence, you should find at least six people in your area that are good centers of influence. And what do we mean by that? This is called the magic six. Accountant, lawyer, realtor, mortgage broker, and an insurance agency. Maybe it's uh, an insurance agency that's PNC focused and things like that. So if you start to branch out, you'll start to create those connections, grow, and ultimately build from there. So that was some of the interesting stuff that John Hancock gave us. On top of that, you'll see here, we have this giant list of information that they have on their website. This is free. They gave everybody these QR codes and I'm trying to figure out how I can get them so I can send them to everybody. But these QR codes will give you different things they call it because you asked. So basics of eyelids or irrevocable life insurance trusts. So if we pull it up, what is an eyelid? Who can it serve? How's it typically funded? So you have all the information here and pretty pictures are, are included in some of these to help you with your clients ultimately get the right uh, information, so to speak. Uh, unexpected gifts of life insurance, death benefits, the Goodman Triangle. So they have different examples here. Um, and all of this is free for you to utilize uh, for your clientele. History of estate taxes. This one was a personal favorite of mine to understand how estate taxes work, how they've increased over time. Uh, the exemption limits, the fiscal cliff. If you deal with, uh, for example, say foreign nationals, non-citizen estate and gift tax treatment, this is extremely important because if you have a client who is a non-resident of the United States, they have only a $60,000 protection uh, against uh, their American assets. So if they don't live here, but they have a lot of assets here, that are in their personal estate, that'll be 60,000. Above that, you're at the 40% tax bracket. If you decide to become a US citizen, congratulations, you now currently have 12.92 million in protection. However, it counts all your worldly assets. So 
one way or another, you're going to have a, a, an estate tax concern. That once again leads back to us as financial professionals to help with that. Policy valuations, sales to a grantor trust, all these advanced things are at your fingertips and they're free. So that's what John Hancock gave to us. Uh, great value proposition. Uh, it's the because you asked. And once again, I can send this link to you. Uh, if you have any questions as I'm going through this stuff too, feel free to put it in the Q&A uh, section and I'll answer it as we go along or any questions at all. Uh, feel free to put that in the Q&A section. Uh, next, what we had is uh, a cool thing that we got from Prudential. It's another um, giant list of, of information that's at your fingertips. Uh, what Prudential's main um goal and guideline was, was really a focus around uh, women and how there's trillions of dollars being moved to the next generation. And let's be honest, Ben, uh, we have the privilege of dying first most of the time. And in doing so, we transfer wealth. And when you think about it, uh, most women will either be the decision makers or already currently are the decision makers in many uh, situations. So uh, for us men, we have to make it a um, more of an effort to not only talk to the quote unquote man of the household, but include the the, the female as well. Uh, most of the time, because you'll find that even in the back behind the scenes, more often than not, the woman is driving, you know, the sale anyway. Um, so there's a lot of information about that. Uh, they do talk about FlexGuard. We don't really sell this uh, as of right now unless you're federal licensed. Uh, but once again, life insurance strategies for women. Um, and I think this is really important because once again, as men pass away first, a lot of the assets are used to help the male with long-term care. Uh, both when we say assets, we talk about mental assets. The wife is there to take care of the husband. And then next thing you know, he passes and the wife has no one. So when you think about it, Prudential is talking about their benefit access rider. Uh, that is uh, for those who speak AIG, because once again, I know a lot of us have spoken AIG for a while. That's the accelerated access solution rider or the long-term care or chronic illness rider. And how important it is to have at least one family member who has that type of rider at their fingertips. I would talk about retirement planning in the perfect storm. There are trillions of assets coming across from the gray wave into uh, generations to come. And how are we as financial professionals prepared to help people from that standpoint protect against uh, their own futures? Um, and then what we had was the uh, core bridge uh, or good old AIG. Uh, they came with uh, just their brokerage side, which does not have living benefits. But seeing though I sold living benefits, I find it a better value proposition versus the regular product. Uh, we have the QOL website. On this website, you have the ability to build your mental knowledge on the products unto itself. This is once again free for you to get to. Uh, there's different ways with field underwriting guides. You have the ability to learn how to run the products. Uh, and then even marketing material, um, you know, it's cliche when I was there, but given the fact that what I do now is a lot of marketing, you talk about agent development, uh, or excuse me, agent recruiting. If you're talking about recruiting agents, you have campaign in a box. So you can post that to your social medias, emails, newsletters. You also have it for client prospecting. And once again, emails, newsletters, social media, so on and so forth. So you have a lot of assets. These are all free and at your fingertips. Uh, you do not have to pay for them at all. And you can even build up a social media calendar uh, if you want here. So you can just copy and paste these and put them into uh, your specific site and you can go from there. So once again, a lot of cool features uh, just to give you, there's market intel from these two. 
We've got uh, products as well as uh, social media stuff from AIG. And then what I found interesting was uh, the thing that National Life Group brought to the table. So for those of you who work with larger businesses, like let's say you work with a group of doctors and the doctors have uh, 10 people or more that make over $75,000. Well, with National Life Group, you can get guaranteed issue on those cases. They would be more likely uh, accumulation IUL sales. But once again, 10 or more, and you have the ability to get guaranteed issue. Now, some people would say, well, I only have uh, three doctors in this one practice. Uh, and I talked to Marco, who is the uh, who is the National Life Group rep. And he said that if you can get a group of doctors together, there's conversations around that as well. So they're all coming in at one time. But once again, guaranteed issue. So if you have someone like myself and someone who's a skinny mini, we're all going to get approved without any underwriting done. So think about that. If you have a high income earner, uh, who might not be physically fit with that profession. If you have other people in that profession, guess what? They've got a shot to get coverage, a LERP, if you will, uh, from, from a retirement standpoint that they couldn't get before. And so we can take that, run with it. And, and if you have or want more information about that side, let me know. I will gladly get you the uh, articles, the information. We can even set up a call with National Life Group. Now, coming down the pike, uh, as we continue down this journey in the multi-carrier world, how do we get to know people better? How do we get to know carriers better? Well, we're going to start working on a beginning of the year contest. So I'm giving you the information now so you can get prepped and ready. Our business partners at Columbus Life, who have an excellent product as well as an excellent story, we're going to do a contest come January 1 for the first quarter to ultimately get you a prize to go to the Cincinnati office, get to spend time with people at Cincinnati Life, or Columbus Life, excuse me, as well as they'll take us out to like a baseball game because their office is right across the street from the Cincinnati Reds. And I had a great time with them uh, at the last meeting. Uh, really got to know them uh, very well. Uh, their product suite is very, very competitive from the standpoint of they have three table shades. So if you have someone who might be a table B or a table C on their permanent products, they'll shave them up to standard. Uh, if you have someone who is uh, diabetic, they are very favorable for diabetics too. So you have the ability to partner with a company that's looking for business, hungry to build a relationship similar to the AIG QOL portfolio. Uh, it's, it's very similar feeling from that standpoint. Um, they also have a trip. So if you hit 100,000 by the end of this year as a new agent, uh, you will be on your way to the Bahamas with them next year. So just a cool little extra feature. So they have some trips and incentives as well. Um, if you weren't aware, we offer 401ks too uh, with our partners at Mutual of Omaha, as well as, um, as well as American National. So if we look at the 401k plans, you have a 401k retirement plan here. You can offer to your clients. And you do not need to be FINRA licensed in certain states with Mutual of Omaha. So, for example, say uh, if you're in Texas, if you're in Georgia, Tennessee, you do not need a life insurance license or you do not need a variable license to sell 401ks with Mutual of Omaha. Now, we also had American National there. They're one of our primary product partners. We do not need a variable license for any of the states at all because American National, you can write it with just a life license. 
And I'm in the process of finishing up one uh, as we speak uh, with, with, with some people, about a 12 person group. And then when you think about it going from this angle, offering 401ks to customers, you have the ability now to help the other clients or soon to be clients, I should say, uh, or employees get registered for 401ks. And then you can do a financial needs analysis with them too. So once again, leading with the opportunity of retirement with the business owner, how they can get a tax deduction or even a tax credit now allows you the ability to go in and ask for more business or meet with their clients as well. Excuse me, their employees as well. And you would get paid commission on these too. So it's it's a win for everybody. Now, just kind of going into the three mark site, what I will share with you is if you do deal in the foreign national space, they actually have a foreign national playbook that they've updated. And this foreign national playbook is fantastic. So it gives you what you're looking for, for general requirements. And then you have foreign national carriers and who plays very well in these spaces. So Symmetra came in pretty hot uh, in this foreign national carrier space recently. Uh, all they ask is you to be an approved country and you have to have $25,000 worth of assets in a bank account here for more than 90 days. And you have the ability to get a life insurance policy in America. Now, why is that important? because a lot of foreign nationals like to have U.S. assets. Why? Because it's considered a stable asset. So accumulation and growth inside of a life insurance policy is very exciting. Now, to be fair, some of the people that I talk to uh, are of Indian descent, Indians we can do, Pakistani. If, you're, if you live in Pakistan, they won't, they won't insure you. Uh, this is very popular for the uh, Chinese market because another major carrier, Global Atlantic, stepped out of this uh, uh, space, and now Symmetra is picking up a lot of that business. Uh, Lincoln, John Hancock, Crew, all of these guys have great foreign national guidelines. I would beg to say that NLG would actually be over here, and they would probably be my first carrier for their leniency in regards to clients if they only have an I-10 you can still get coverage for them with National Life Group. You can't with anybody else. Um, and that would be an I-10 and paying taxes, I should say. Uh, they also have term insurance, which uh, F&G does not have. So you can even look at the resident aliens uh, guidelines at a glance, how much they're looking for as a minimum per carrier and what they're going to offer uh, from that standpoint. So highly recommend going through the uh, new and updated playbook site. Uh, we're going to do a separate presentation on X-Ray and the benefit of that. Uh, but talking about if we just do the regular underwriting. So if I do underwriting and impaired risk, uh, I've shown this a few times, but uh, always worth looking at again. Uh, first off, we have underwriting questionnaires. So I think this is very important when you're talking to clients and say, hey, Phil, I got a client who had cancer. OK, what type of cancer? You know, these are certain questions that you can ask them to fill out uh, to get you the answer you're looking for. You can send it back to me with all these answers and how much they're looking for. So we can get you a better result as opposed to just saying, ah, I'm going to submit with this carrier and hope for the best. Because that hurts a client. The more you submit to carriers, you're going to get the MIB hits and everything else. So here's an opportunity for you to look up certain uh, concerns uh, that are available for you to fill out and send off and, and hopefully get a better response. And obviously, I can guide you with that, too. Uh, we also have the Rx for success. This is actually from Pru. You will need a Pru uh, username and password to get in. I don't have mine readily available. I am licensed with Peru. I just don't have it on me. But they have different things like that last thing I showed you here uh, to give you additional ways that you can do field underwriting. Now, what I personally like is uh, this is what we got with Libra. They gave us these IntelliSheets. 
And so for example sake, if you're looking for non-med carriers, okay, and you wanna see what carriers have accelerated underwriting, you check the box here, you check all carriers, I hit view selected carriers, and I can see it below. And all the carriers, what they have available product-wise and how quick they can get it done. If you want to see this, you can export it to an Excel sheet as well. Open it up and you can send it to, if you have support, if you're supporting agents, you can send it to them and it'll show you everything you need all in one giant data sheet. So when you think about it, other stuff like family history, I've sent this to people who have uh, family history, say some uh, one of their relatives passed away before uh, the age of 60. You'd want to know that and understand how the carriers are going to look at that because uh, most of them will say standard. Table shave programs, tobacco use. Once again, if you have clients who have dipped, chewed, chantix, snuff, pipes, cigars, not cigarettes, as long as they claim it on the application, even a, a nicotine offer, or excuse me, nicotine in the urine, they'll still get non-tobacco rates. So you have that at your fingertips with three to four carriers. You have conversion privileges. You've got long-term care riders, premium caps, PDAs. So all of this, once again, is available at your fingertips. And so we learned all this information. There was a lot more to it than that. Uh, what I will also mention again, because we are uh, here in the Valor silo, is we have a couple presentations coming up, uh, even today from our lending side. So if you're not familiar with the real estate lending opportunity, uh, feel free to reach out to me about this. But the real estate lending opportunity is extremely helpful too. Uh, we're gonna learn more about solo 401ks today how to find more retirement money and move them into alternative assets. And then on top of that, uh, there is a new project coming out called Project Blue. It is a 12 to 24 month, um, or 12 to 18 month secured real estate promissory note. Annual fixed interest is 12%. And they get a 1% monthly cash flow during that term. Every client is a first position lien holder on it. And there's an opportunity to even get more money on the back end as a producer. So we have different ways where we can help people find the money today. We can find it for that insurance asset. We can get paid as compensation from the agent standpoint as well on things like this. If you're not familiar with what I'm talking about right now, there is a lot of cool stuff happening on uh, all assets or facets of uh, you know the Valor brand. So we partner up with strategic partners to get all this stuff done. We have a current uh, project right now, I guess it's Project Green. Uh, it's our Issachar team that has a 17% return uh, and your client would get that back in less than 12 months. Uh, the average time frame is about nine months. So uh, all of that is available too. Uh, 25K minimum investment. And um, there's an opportunity to go to Cabo if you as agents get 500K in invested assets before the end of the year. So feel free to reach out to me for that standpoint. And, um, you know, really, once again, there's just a lot going on here, all good stuff. And uh, really excited to see uh, where the next year goes. And more than likely, Valor will uh, put on a contest of some sort as well for a trip of some sort, maybe early 2025. So a lot coming. I want to say thank you uh, to everybody here uh, and just understand that there's more to come. So if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to put them in the chat session.